So real quick intro here. So there's been a couple of questions of how to record and reamp with the quad cortex and so forth. I think there are enough uh, videos on that already on YouTube and stuff, but you never know. So basically what I've got here is a little setup to demonstrate how I would go about it. So quick intro on how the wiring would work. Basically the only things I've got connected is uh, my guitar is running into input one. Actually, uh, the voiceover I'm doing right now is my SM7B running into input one as well. So you can record uh, vocals, etc. on the two. I think the preamp sounds decent enough. So aside from that, there's the USB connection to my MacBook and the two main outputs, which are currently being captured by another interface. Um, so I can share them with you in this video and normally you just connect them to your PA or your headphones or what's not. So pretty simple setup with a few cables overall. So let's jump right into Reaper. So here's the basic output that we're hearing via main outputs. I'm just gonna go ahead and create two new tracks. The first one, recording from input one. Please do turn off any software monitoring. I'll explain later why. And the second one, we're recording from out one and two, if you wanna have a stereo pair. And the nasty stuff that you're hearing are the face issues you get if you don't turn off software monitoring. So let's just record something. Just a bit of noodling. So what we did here was actually capture two signals. We've got the direct input. That's quite literally the direct input signal into the quad cortex going into the input one. And we've got the second signal, which is the output of the first layer going to outputs one and two. Now, as you can hear, obviously the preset is quite shit. Um, just messing around with uh, the settings and looking what they can do. So basically what we can do now is just dump the reamped signal or the processed signal and reamp it again without having to re-record anything. So what I'm gonna do now is create a second track. The first one is our dry signal without any effects. I'm gonna use that to send it to my quad cortex by sending it to the USB output five. So let's just create a new preset here. And instead of using the first input, we're just gonna say it's USB five, which is the lane we sent it to from Reaper. And now we have to capture the signal again. So instead of recording output one and two, which we could do actually, but I don't wanna be hearing my monitoring. So I'm gonna capture USB output five and six. And send the signal into them on my quad cortex. So unless I use software monitoring right now, I wouldn't be hearing anything from the main outputs on the cortex. And now we're just gonna build our sound. Add your effects, caps, what's not.
So the only thing that's left now is basically hit record. And what's gonna happen is our signal is gonna run through the PC and um, be recaptured to the second track with all the effects and processing that we did. Oh, and by the way, we can just mute it because we're sending the signal to USB outputs and not the main ones. So the signal is still being run, but we don't have to listen to it. And now if we play it back, we have our two signals, the dry DI that we use to send, uh, and the process one. So I used to own a camper, and what most people probably don't realize, I'm not sure what the workflow with an XFX is, but to me this is quite the killer feature because reamping with a camper was quite inconvenient. You had to run the signal um, out of your interface, use the reamp box, go to the input of the camper, um, and then go back into the interface. And uh, you don't have to do that here. The only things you need is your quad cortex and the USB cable. And any sort of signal transfer is completely digital. So there's no lossy conversion. There's no analog to digital conversion or vice versa. Uh, and um, it's pretty simple to set up too.